Right now we're taxiing to the runway with the rotor stationary, but before we take off, we pre-rotate the uh, rotor using an electric pre-rotator. This pre-rotator spins the rotor up to about 50% of the flight RPM, and this dramatically decreases our takeoff distance. The takeoff distance you need with the PAL-V is between 100 and 160 meters, depending on whether you have headwind or uh, your loadout. For takeoff, you apply full throttle using your left hand, pull the stick all the way back. This opens up the rotor so it catches most of the wind. It accelerates quickly and at about 80 kilometers an hour you're already airborne. Immediately after takeoff, you can already trim the rotor using the uh, trim controls on the flight stick and it will automatically keep its speed at the set speed. So the trim system is sort of like a cruise control in a car. It keeps your speed constant. In the PAL-V you only feel about 20% of the gust intensity compared to a normal small airplane. As we reach our cruising altitude we can decrease the throttle and level off. Let's make a turn back to the runway. The optimum cruising speed for the PAL-V is 140 km per hour. This means that you have your maximum range at this speed. At 140 km an hour you have about 400 km range with half an hour of fuel reserve. Between 100 and 160 km an hour you still have 90% of your flight range. The maximum speed in flight is 180 km an hour 